classic sea breeze morning. Light sou'wester first thing, calm, and then the sea breeze will come in sometime around midday-ish. Uh, looking back into Whale Bay. We'll go up the northern coastline to just under Cape Weewiki for a snorkel. Uh, running on the starboard engine only at the moment. Bay. Uh, there's a rock on the uh, northeastern side but uh, looks like it's got potential for some stage in the future. Uh, looks like it's got a pretty rocky bottom so it would only be a short term anchorage at most. Uh, we can see nine pin in the distance, Cape Wee Wiki's Coming into view. Well, there's Cape Wee Wiki. We have a number of islands and rocks off the end. So we passed here yesterday. Well, there's Ninepin, uh, which we rounded yesterday. Way over there is Cape Brett and Piercy Island or Hole in the Rock Island. And over here on the southern shore of the Bay of Islands, there's all the islands and the vast majority of the boats. We'll go in here uh, and anchor uh, for a snorkel. to find a patch of sand. <laughs> Looks like good snorkeling country, just have to watch out for the surge between these islets. And we've got one other boat here. I was here with Finn a few years ago and he, against my better judgement, decided to climb that rock face where he got about a fifth of the way up and came down safely. I was on the boat, he had taken the dinghy to shore. There's the clear water we're looking for.
the winds are coming in from the east now, or rather a very light breeze. And we have a spearfisher out, hopefully he won't get the big mokey I saw. It's uh, 12.30, I've had lunch, we seem to have a good sea breeze from the north. I think it's time to sail. So that's back where we were. Wind's a wee bit shifty underneath this island. Oh, look, there's a tunnel through. We won't go around Sail Rock today. Oh, we're doing a close reach uh, across the bay. Sort of heading at the moment to the leeward side of Redhead Island. That's Motokiki Island through the side stays. Next one's Downs Motorua. Then Roberton Island. Down there is Tarpeka Point. Russell's around behind and we're looking in to Pai here and Waitini. Motorua Island and Black Rocks. And then down to the Kiri Kiri and Takuna Inlets. south end of Rotokiki Island with Rotorua Island in behind and we do have these reefs here uh, which is where Matthew ended up as optimist when the uh, bung came out
Army Bay, I think, which is over there. He is looking over to the two popular bays on the west side of Arapoka Poka and as usual chock-a-block full of boats. Uh, lots of boats on the uh, southeastern corner of Motorua Island. aspirations of going for a snorkel uh, in this gap which is very beautiful but I think there's two good reasons one it's too fire trucking rough and secondly the visibility is crap uh, we're one hour off low tide so no reason not to stay here uh, wait for the northerly sea breeze to come in unfortunately the swell is just set to increased to four meters by Saturday so I think that's snorkeling uh, done for a few days Well, there doesn't seem much future in staying here, so I think uh, it will move. Oh, I think it's just about surfable. Out of that reef at the entrance.
Well, we didn't move far. This is O2 Poho Bay. It's uh, about 20 minutes off low tide. It's too shallow to go much further in with the uh, swell remains that's coming in. Right, back there is Army Bay. And we have Motor Kiki Island behind us. And we came this morning from back over there. Still get a good view of the swells breaking on the reef that extends northwest from Motu Kiki Island. swell is supposed to increase but also as the tide comes in the reef from Motu Kiki will have a less attenuating effect on the northerly swell. We've come from down there. Here's the usual collection of boats in this corner of Motorua Island. As the forecast continues to get worse for the rest of the week, uh, with pretty much a gale at the weekend and northerly swells building to five metres, I think we'll head over here for the night gradually work our way back towards Russell and just go on the mooring for at least some of the weekend. Well, we're sailing slowly under Jib into Paro and Nui Bay. It was a very hot afternoon for a while. Swam to the shore, cleaned the top sides just above the waterline on the boat. And now it's clouding over. It's supposed to go southwest tonight, southerly tomorrow, southeast after that, and the big east, uh, sorry, big northeasterly swell uh, coming up due to the tropical cyclone coming down east of us. It's only going to be a nuisance, not anything serious, uh, but a big swell does make it a bit problematic. Might be mooring at Russell for the weekend. 